the reason we bought the system in the first place was we had a generous foundation and they wanted to have the best for their town which is on the edge of a bigger city and so what our plan was to buy it and to start doing cardiac scans without a nurse because the scan uh, would be so reliable that we wouldn't need to intervene and have to give uh, beta blockers and we would just use oral uh, metoprolol. So that was the initial plan and we were going to take patients from the city actually and scan them in the, in this, on the periphery, in the smaller hospital, for hearts. And it's a nice relaxing environment, it's very quiet, and easy to park, and so we thought it would be good for that. It succeeded completely in our, what we thought it would succeed in, which is just scanning hearts reliably. We haven't had a single failure in all the heart scans that we've done. They've all been diagnostic and of good quality, no matter what heart rate people have had. And so that's worked very well, and we, that's saved us a lot of money in nursing costs. We save over $100,000 a year in having to add an extra nurse uh, to monitor the patients when they're having cardiac scans, and we just send them home directly afterwards. So that's a success. And if CT is to make any impact on uh, finding people before they have a big MI and before they die of an MI and they weren't suspected of having heart disease, we have to be able to do it at low cost and in the community. And so this is really successful. The surprising part was uh, how much better it was at some other things. And we have, it made me realize, we have a lot of scans that are somewhat suboptimal or a lot suboptimal because of movement, breathing artifact, various different things. And we always have, for example, pulmonary embolus studies where you can't really see the medium in small vessels. Sometimes for lack of tube current, some, usually for motion. And uh, what struck me one day is I saw a patient that was getting off the table. It was an elderly lady, lady who was confused and combative. And she was actually fighting the people that were taking her off the table. And I thought, I was thinking to myself, that's going to be a terrible scan. And I had already looked at it, and I hadn't realized that was the person, and it was perfect. It looked like it was a young athlete sitting still. And you see the tiny little pulmonary vessels. So what we realized is that we eliminated a lot of failures of imaging. And the other thing is, uh, when you have that level of detail, we often will make a waffle diagnosis if we can't see things all that well, and it's not so useful. And then they end up doing more testing and more things down the road. We can really confidently see things with the level of detail and the lack of artifact that we have. And we can say yes or no more often rather than maybe. And it really, that makes a difference. And we can discharge people confidently from the hospital or the emergency room knowing that they do not have what we're looking for instead of having a certain percentage of people that would have a uh, you know, scan that we'd have to repeat or do something else on. So that, was, that, that surprised us. And so that's why I phoned David Matheson and told him that he had lied to me about the machine. It, he, I said he had underdescribed it. It was, it was better than he had told me. So, um, And we're very happy with it. And it's to the point now where we really like we really notice the difference in the machine compared to the other machines for a lot of patients so it's uh, we're very glad we bought it why do you want to have healthcare that's second rate because you're in a smaller place and in fact th that's the place where we want to have our studies that we may be doing screening or uh, some sort of uh, testing like cardiac CT. Also a lot of elderly people live in smaller towns and so th those are the people who are difficult to scan and those are the people who you need something like this for. And the other thing is it just saves us time and uh, it's very quick but we don't have to repeat scans. It just doesn't happen and we have a much more confidence diagnosis so they can spend less time in the emergency room they can go home. And in fact we, we have a new program now where we have people bypassing the emergency room they come and just have the scan first when, and then we don't even send them to the emergency room if the scan's negative. And uh, that's, a, that's a new program, and, that, and this scanner is perfect for that. You have better throughput and efficiency, and you have less repeats, and repeats cost money, and they cost money in hospitalization, and I'm staying in the hospital longer time, so it saves money downstream, and faster throughput through the emergency room. Um, it, so it, it, it saves money in the overall healthcare system.